I just got in the mail a Raspberry Pi, first one ever. Of course I'm using this for what, probably 90% of people who buy Raspberry Pis for to uh, do retro gaming. Very simple circuit board. Yeah, four USBs, uh, LAN connection or Ethernet connection. This, everyone gets this wrong, they all say it's an audio jack, but actually, I want to show you something. Unlike other audio jacks, it's got one more thing on it. So see this right here? Most headphone cables come with uh, only two plastic barriers. And so when people see this, they're like, oh, this comes with a built-in HDMI and an audio jack. What they are actually missing out on is that this is actually RCA. So you have HDMI and a very portable RCA that a lot of people miss out on. The 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that on the other end is RCA, but you can't use any 3.5 millimeter. It has to be the one that has this order of connection. The order of connection has to be video, ground, left channel, right channel. It has to be in that order. And, and some of these won't work because they're not made in that order. It's a standard charger and it comes with a standard uh, micro USB. And right here, is the heat sink for it. This one's actually for the processor itself. It's just a way to get rid of heat. Now I'm not sure which way of this heat sink if it matters. It's open air current. There's not really air blowing across it. Well, it looks like there is no airflow. So I guess it doesn't matter which way I put it in because if I set it like this, hold on. There's little pins I gotta line up in here and I'm not lining it up right. All the videos I saw, they just were able to pop it in. Maybe I'm not doing this in the right order. Hmm. It may look so easy on YouTube. Mine's not sliding in that easy. So far. All right. Well, so my first review, even though this whole smoked clear case thing is pretty sweet, these don't align perfectly. This one right here is a little bit off. I had to take it back out again. You can see it's actually a little scuffed right there for me trying to mess with it with a screwdriver, which sucks. This is a brand new board. This right here doesn't align with this and this. So these two right here line perfectly with the board. This one doesn't have a pin. This one did not line very nicely at all and I had to really force it to make this, this, and this to line. So I'm not really a big fan of Adafruit boxes. You might want to go with other brands and see if they're better because this did not just snap in. It took some work. That's really my own personal preference. I do like the clear case. That's the def. I like it way more than the black box because you can actually see your pie in action. So technically, right here, you might want to get a heat sink for the the chip for the board. Mine didn't come with one, and I'm not really worried about it. Micro SDXC 64 gigabytes. I used RetroPie. Lines in nice and easy, just like that. Let's plug in my RCA. It's in white. It's yellow. This is red. Retro pie. So Linux 9 is the operating system, well technically Raspbian is the operating system, which is built upon Linux. RetroPie uses Raspbian. 